November 7, 2017 I came to Italy to say hello. Also, maybe, Arrivederci. The 812 Superfast, yes, that is its real name, is, as the company claims, the most powerful production Ferrari ever. Words worth crossing the Atlantic for. But the car gets its oomph from one of the rarest of engines a naturally aspirated V12. No whining turbochargers. Just pure, unadulterated power as the gods of displacement intended. The engine puts out 789 horsepower. But with new, stricter environmental restrictions and the advent of hybridizing all things with four wheels, even the top of the lean LaFerrari is a hybrid, it was rumored that this endangered beast could be one of the last of its kind. Ferrari the V12 engine of any variety has always been an uncommon breed, synonymous with luxury and easy automotive one-upmanship since the automobile's pre-war days. 12 is bigger than 8 or 6, after all. The hallmark of the brand's greatest hits, even more so than the red paint, was the thunderous V12 that powered some of the best cars in its 70-year history, from the very first Ferrari, the 125S, to the modern-day Ferrari Enzo. Italian automaker Lamborghini is also synonymous with sonorous, naturally aspirated V12s. It was in the company's very first model in 1963 and powers its newest brutal track hammer, the Aventador S. BMW started offering V12s in the mid-80s, again, one would assume, to satisfy the era's need for excess. Yao will still find it in the prestigious land yacht of the 7 Series. Mercedes offers the most variety for those who want a V12 in anything, from a two-seater convertible to a pseudo-military SUV, they are found in six models in their range. And all Rolls-Royces have V12s, because why not in our eco-conscious, technologically advanced automotive climate, or V12s necessary, though the V6S and the Acura NSX and Nissan GTR make them among the fastest cars in the world. The Porsche 911 has always had a flat 6, and no one thinks of that car as slow. And who needs engines or even gasoline, for that matter the ludicrous versions of the electric Tesla Model X and Model S can hit 60 miles per hour in under 3 seconds on batteries and electric motors alone. The hallmark of the brand's greatest hits, even more so than the red paint, was the thunderous V12. Advertisement continue reading below press the red start button on the steering wheel of the 812 Superfast, hear the engine and exhaust note that will cause birds to scatter in fear, and that is the beginning of your journey into resetting the parameters of what is necessary in this world. And all of this is before you've even stepped on the gas, sound is more important than performance with a V12, Ferrari's chief technology officer, Michael Leiters, tells me. What's the most important metric emotion, he says. Marketing speak perhaps, but the German CTO who formerly worked at Porsche says this rather earnestly. Take it on the road and one can imagine that if there is a tool to measure excitement somewhere in the Ferrari plant, the superfist may have broken it. The first straight away I hit on the way to the curvy, elevation-filled country roads where Ferraris are tested, is intoxicating. It feels like dipping into a limitless well of heady horsepower and torque every thousand RPM delivering a new high. Your head gets pinned to the headrest you laugh hysterically. 80% of the torque can be tapped at a mere 3,500 revolutions per minute and peaks at 7,000 revolutions per minute. Translation It is fast off the line and fast when you're already going fast. It earns its name, 0 to 62, in 2.9 seconds. You chase after that visceral speed, the incomparable roar, and the car delivers it with high drama. Ferrari but a V12 is just part of the equation that makes the Superfist one of the most enjoyable cars on the planet. It handles winding, narrow roads, more naturally suited for a tiny Fiat, with a plum thanks to rear wheels that turn and serious stopping power from carbon ceramic brakes the size of manhole covers. You can hold down the downshift paddle and press the brake and the car will drop gears automatically for optimal power as you enter a curve. A suite of control systems like EDIF electronic torque vectoring and F1 track electronic stability control help keep the supercar manageable even if you're more accustomed to driving a minivan. All of this is fairly futuristic stuff for a Ferrari, especially in contrast to the primordial V12 at the heart of it all. Still, it's hard to envision a world without an engine like this, one that produces such brash, singular symphony of displacement that Italian nanny come out of their homes with a cadre of children in tow just to get a glimpse, and other drivers at least in the part of Italy where Ferraris are born graciously pull over so you can pass them. This can't be the end of that world. This can't be the last of the naturally aspirated Ferrari V12s, can I? Absolutely not, head of product marketing Nicola Bori tells me. He follows up matter-of-factly our clients demand it.
In other words, where there's a thrill, there's a waypoint 2018 Ferrari 812 super fast engine 789 horsepower 6.5 liter V12 performance 0 to 62 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds price from $339,025. This article appears in the FW17 Big Black Book from Esquire. Bye IT.